Cosmos bipinnatus, commonly called the garden cosmos or Mexican aster, is a medium-sized flowering herbaceous plant in the daisy family Asteraceae, native to the Americas. The species and its varieties and cultivars are popular as ornamental plants in temperate climate gardens. Description of the plant. Cosmos bipinnatus is considered a half-hardy annual, a uh, Thaw plants may reappear via self-sowing for several years. The plant height varies from 2 to 6 feet, and rarely to 9 feet. The cultivated varieties appear in shades of many colors. The branched stem is usually densely to occasionally occupied by fine, split-up, rough trichomes. Some specimens are completely hairless. The petiole itself is inconspicuous, winged, 10 to 15 mm long. Sometimes the leaves are almost sessile. The partial leaves are linear filiform to narrow linear with a width of 0.5 to 1 mm. The tips are pointed, hardened and particularly sharp. Plant stem and leaves are fully similar to marigold plant. Its foliage is finely cut into thread-like segments. When flowering, the plant can become top-heavy. This problem is alleviated when grown in groups, as the bipinnate leaves interlock. And the colony supports itself. The achenes become blackish, a smooth or short bristly. Their shape is spindle-like. They are rounded off into a short, 0.5 to 1.7 mm long, but distinctly pronounced rostrum. The inner achenes are up to 18 mm long, the yellowish beaks are 4 to 5 mm long. A pappus is missing or it consists only of 2 to 3 horn like 1 to 3 mm large bristles. Flowers. The very conspicuous cup-shaped inflorescences have a diameter of usually 5 to 7 cm and contain tongue and tubular flowers, which are surrounded by bracts. The outer bracts are usually 8 and are ovate to lanceolate tail shaped, 7 to 15 mm long, 3 to 5 mm wide. The inner bracts are ovate lanceolate and 8 to 12 mm long. They are translucent with many black stripes and a clear edge up to 1 mm wide. Sometimes with yellowish or pink pigments, the tip is ciliate. The sprout leaves have gold-yellow, thread-like tips and protrude between the tubular flowers. The broadened base of these spreader leaves is translucent, provided with a yellow line. During flowering, the plant can sag under its weight. This problem can be solved by grouping the feet together so that the leaves hang together. The mostly eight ray florets are pink to violet or white colored, at the base may show noticeable stains caused by anthocyanin. The tongues are reversely ovate shaped, have a length of usua. LLY 20 to 35 mm and a width of usually 12 to 20 mm. The tips are almost dull and have three broad, wavy teeth. Below that, they are greatly rejuvenated. In the center of the flower baskets is a large number of tubular flowers, whose overgrown petals are yellow, turn white in the lower part and reach a length of 5 to 6 mm. The anthers are brownish-black and about 3 mm long, at the tips are short triangular. Translucent attachments with a length of 0.5 to 0.8 mm. The branches of the stylus are short and rather dull, with a length of 0.5 mm. Range Garden Cosmos is native to Mexico, Guatemala and Costa Rica. Since it is used as an ornamental plant in many countries and prone to sedimentation, it is an invasive plant in many areas of the world. It has naturalized in scattered locations across North America, South America. The West Indies, Italy, Australia, and Asia, where it is a garden escape introduced species and in some habitats becoming a weed. Cultivation. Growth characteristics of this plant include. Germination takes between 7 and 10 days at the optimal temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 
Flowering begins between 60 and 90 days after germination. It prefers a soil pH between 6.0 and 8.5. Reflecting its native habitat in the alkaline regions of Central America, flowering is best in full sun. Although partial shade is tolerated, excessive rain can cause cultivation problems due to the delicate nature of the stems. Heavy rain can cause breakage. Cosmos bipinnatus can tolerate heat as long as adequate moisture is provided, however, it does not handle droughts, strong winds or cold temperatures well. Snails, slugs and aphids have a taste for Cosmos bipinnatus. Successfully cultivated plants can mature 2 to 4 feet by 12 to 18 inches. Distribution of the plant. Cosmos species are native to scrub and meadowland in Mexico where most of the species occur. In the United States, some varieties may be found as far north as the Olympic Peninsula in Washington, but the range also extends through Central America to South America as far south as Paraguay. One species, Cosmos bipinnatus, is naturalized across much of the eastern United States and eastern Canada. I. T. is also widespread over the high eastern plains of South Africa, where it was introduced via contaminated horsefeed during the Anglo Boer War. Pollinators. The flowers of Cosmos bipinnatus attract birds and butterflies, including the monarch butterfly. It can be part of butterfly gardening and pollinator honeybee habitat gardens.